Hey guys, it's AJ. It's Wednesday. I'm filming between my kitchen and my living room because I have my bedroom door closed and my big fat peach cat was crying so much. Like, I don't know, the Humane Society was going to come and like bang on my door. She was having major separation anxiety, so I'm having to film out in this front room so that um, it's quiet and so that people don't think that I'm strangling my cat. Anyway, um, I just wanted to elaborate on last week's um, questions. My, one of my guilty pleasures that I have is reality TV and there were two that I forgot. I absolutely love Little People Big World. Little People Big World. If I had extra time to drive up to Oregon and like stock them at Roll Off Farms, I totally would. And I'd work on their farm and I'd sell pumpkins and peaches and do whatever they want. Like they could shoot me with paintballs for all I care. Um, second guilty pleasure is John and Kate plus eight. I don't know what it is about watching this mom and dad chase eight kids around all day, but it's fascinating. Maybe because I'll never have eight kids, or hopefully, uh, I mean, I don't ever want eight kids, but yeah. I don't know, this this area is, is just weird. Maybe I should like scoot back and film from, ooh, boxer shorts, guys. I'm doing it naked again. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting off topic. So let's start Wednesday. Alright, so we're doing nine questions and they all start in the form of I realize that la la la. So, whoa, here are my notes and um, I conveniently placed on the back of my um, cable bill, which is one of the things I realized today. Um, so, oh, I realized that it's due, but I was going to add that, but now I can't do that one. Shit. Anyway, um, I think it goes I realize I have a crush on, um, I have a crush on Michelle. Oh, you guys don't know that. Tina and Lou. Because I can't have a crush on Jess because her arms, her biceps are like bigger than mine and she could probably kick my ass. And Jess is just, she's too Jess for me. Jess is cute but Jess isn't like a long hair and you know how I love them long hairs. Uh, today when I woke up, I realized that I needed to pay my cable bill and my gas bill. That it's going to be hot because it was already hot when I woke up. And then I have a lot to do today. Um, yeah. Uh, today I realized that I need, I don't need anything. I feel like my life is complete and uh, actually I would like a new car finally. Um, I'll be getting that probably next month which makes me super super happy. I'm going to get a Toyota FJ Cruiser. I don't know if you know what those are but they look like little Legos on wheels. FJ Cruiser. Um, anyway, Lego on wheels. I realized that my mom is a lot older than I think she is. To me, my mom isn't aging. You know how like, well, when you get older you age. But to me, in my, my eyes, my mom has never aged a day, and I'm sure that's the same how you guys see your parents, like, not aging. But I, I mean, she's 55, and, and I kind of, like, can see it now when I see her, like, oh, you know, you're getting kind of old. Not that you look decrepit or anything, Mom. I mean, I know you watch this, but my mom is getting old, but I can't see her aging. And I hope that that makes sense to you. Like, if you ever see your parents, they don't look like they're getting old, but they are. I know that doesn't make any sense unless you know what I mean, but that's what I've come to realize about my mom. I hate it when I lose my temper. I have a very, very bad temper, and some of you have probably experienced that. I, like, have, I flip on a dime, like, really, and I've been working on that, but I hate it when I lose my temper, and I hate it also when I'm lied to. Those are, like, my two biggest pet peeves. One is about myself, and one is about other people, so I hate it when those happen. I hate it when, if I'm drunk, and I forget what I did the night before. Vegas is a prime, prime example of that. I was looking at my recent charges on my debit card and there was a $90 charge to a restaurant in Las Vegas that we must have went to when we were super hammered because $90 for Mexican food is a lot of Mexican food. And we must have been starving or bought everybody in the restaurant's food because I cannot believe I spent $90 at a restaurant on Mexican food. Either that or the guy wrote in a bigger tip because I cannot find my receipt copy. So that's something that I'm going to investigate. Also, if I'm drunk, I hate that like I make... Oh, you can see the little kitty behind me. Um, I hate that I make irrational decisions. Like, life-changing decisions are always made when I'm drunk, and then I, like, have to take them back the next day. Like, no, 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 I really didn't mean that. That's kind of shitty, but that's what happens. I realize that money pretty much rules the world, and money can change people's, the way they think about you. I hate money, so if you guys want to fill in that one, I realize money, dot, 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 because I could go on and on about how much I hate that money changes people, but it does. Um, also, video response to this, yeah guys, these are nine questions I think everybody should answer, because I think you should. Um, I hate it when certain people, I don't know what to say to that one, I hate it when certain people what, like, 
certain people, what kind of people, like, I hate to put people in categories. Oh, I hate it when certain people shout out dyke when I walk by. I fucking hate that. You certain people, whoever you are, which is, could be any kind of people, person, place, thing, whatever. Shout out stupid, stupid things when I walk by. Like, I really don't want to fucking hear it. And the last question. I realize that I'll always be gay. There's no change in that. I will be a lesbian until the day I die. And that's okay with me. As long as it's okay with you guys. I mean, your approval means the world to me, right? Um, anyway, it's kind of hot sitting in this room. And um, my big fat cat did not want to make an appearance today, so I'm really sorry about that. And I'm going to pass it down to my lover, Michelle, to do the Thursday spot. Oh, some of you guys have been commenting on the front page, which is so cool. And if you guys ever want to know what topics we're doing, it's on the front page also. Um, some of you are like, you should have your own show, and you should have your own magazine or whatever. The only way we're going to get that is if you guys write your local outlets like Lobo, your local gay lesbian paper, and put us out there. Like, spread the beaver bunch word, that is. Um, let people know we're out there, let news outlets know we're out there. Then that way, you know, maybe one day the five of us can like merge together and have like one really cool show on like serious OutQ or something. So, yeah. Um, that's all for now. That's enough blabbing for me. Answer these nine questions. They're pretty simple. Answer the money one. I can't get the money one. Okay, enough. Enough talking. Today's done. See you guys next week.